Hi everybody, thanks for dropping by the channel again. As I had flown over the winter period, I had a build project as such. I've decided to do a flight controller conversion that I've wanted to do for a while now. Two years ago, I built the uh, Zeta Science FX61 Phantom for FPV and used the Arcbird flight controller as the brains for that. The Arcbird worked well for a while. But then I built the Skywalker 1900 and using the APM 2.6 flight controller on that. It quickly became apparent the APM was far superior to the Arcbird and that was the way for me to go. Anyway, I bought another APM unit, this time the 2.8 version, along with the Neo M8N GPS receiver. And I've made the change over the last few days and this is how it's turned out. Here's a picture of the internals of the FX61 with the Arcbird flight controller installed before any changes. The Arcbird's mounted in the centre of the upper tray, as close to the CGs are to get it, and has worked fine sitting there. So during this conversion I tried to keep the new components of the APM as close as possible to the original positions of the Arcbird. Here's a picture of the new flight controller now fully installed and set up again on the upper tray above the battery. The APM 2.8 is in the centre, as close as possible to the CG of the airframe shown here. And it's mounted on a supplied anti-vibration platform that came with the unit. The APM power module replaces the old Arcbird one in the same position here, and provides voltage and current readings to the OSD. The UHF Open LRS receiver, programmed with the Open LRS NG firmware, remains in the same position here, along with its UHF bandpass filter attached to the antenna here, then out of the half-wave dipole antenna mounted near the tip of the right wing. Sitting in front of the APM here is the minimum OSD, a unit which takes a video from the feed camera and overlays the Mavling telemetry data from the APM for transmission back to the ground station and my headset. The Minim OSD, again, open source, and is programmed with a mini Minim OSD Extra firmware. This allows me to show what telemetry data I want on the screen, and in which position I want to see it. So in other words, it's fully configurable to suit anyone's needs. It's a nice option to have in an OSD display, and I program both the units I have to display the same information in the same place on the screen, on the, on the screen which makes life really easy. The Minimo OSD also has the choice of three viewing screens, two of which show telemetry data and one which is blank, which is great when I just want to fly around. These are controllable from a switch on my Tyrannus transmitter and I can toggle the screens back and forward at will. The new M8N GPS that I've used here replaces the old Arcbird one. I wanted to move to the new hardware and chipset as it provides twice as many satellite fixes as the previous one. This in turn gives a much better three-dimensional fix for the aircraft when it's in the sky, which really can only be a good thing. Okay, that's it for now. Just a flight test to make, if I get some better weather here, of course. I'll run the APM auto-tune routine first time I get it up, which will tune the PIDs on the flight controller for much better control, and I'll make a video of that if I get a chance and upload it. Once again, thanks for dropping by. Please comment, rate and subscribe as it all helps on the channel. Cheers now.